right, here we are, day two of the Moreton Bay cycle route. This is Cleveland, the major town part right here. Just up there is the RSL. There's a great big war memorial here. This is gonna be my start point. This is right over here at Raby Bay. And you can see everyone's boats, all the rich folks. And we're pretty much gonna follow the MBC all the way up to, I think my stop is gonna be Gateway Bridge today, I think. We'll see how we go. If you remember on our last journey, our initial run was a 37 kilometer track from Redland Bay all the way to Cleveland Point. Now let me show you the trail for today. And this is it. It's 44 kilometers and it goes all the way where we left off last time from Cleveland and it goes all the way to the Gateway Bridges. Let's zoom in a little bit just to get a better visual. So this area here of Moreton Bay, this is Raby Bay. It's a very uh, rich and affluent area. Everyone's got a boat, everyone's got three jet skis, surf skis and whatever you want to do with water and they've all got waterfront views, okay, as you can see. So where we parked our vehicle today, down on this uh, main road here that goes to Cleveland, there's a car parking spot and this is the main CBD. Here's the Redlands RSL, that's where they got a big gun and cannon at the front and the RSL right there. Really nice place to have a feed if you're hungry. What I did was I took the bike and we started going up the main drag past the uh, Raby Bay shops and there's the Cleveland train station. And then we make a right hand turn up here and we head to an area called Ormiston. We come to a really nice bushy area that you get to ride through. Uh, really really nice if you ever get a chance to do that towards Wellington Point. Now let me zoom out a little bit. If you haven't been to Wellington Point you really uh, should do yourself a favour and head out here. So there's a main drag that goes all the way up here and this is it Wellington Point Recreation Reserve. Absolutely beautiful spot you can leg in your boats there's a long jetty and go for a swim on this part. Some amazing fig trees all along this parkland area. All the way over here there is King Island. Now when it's low tide, you can actually walk all along this sandbar and head over to King Island. I might do a video on that uh, in the near future. Then I took the bike and went back over here. This area is called Three Paddocks Park. Just follow it all the way around here. You have to go around here, there's no escaping it. This here is a really nice stretch to ride your bike. We wrap it all around Thornside and go up on the main road. This is called Rickert Road. You have to go across the Tingalpa Creek. If you don't know much about Tingalpa Creek, it's a really, really big body of water. This is Tingalpa Reservoir. There's a little creek that trickles out all the way out into the bay. And that's what we cross over here. There's a really long bridge. The idea is we get over here to a place called Ransom. That's the name of the suburb. We make a right hand turn up Chelsea Street and we head over a really cool boardwalk called Lota Creek Boardwalk. Yeah, wait till you see that, that's pretty cool. We go past the Lota train station and then we come over to Lota Reserve. Now this section here is a magnificent stretch to ride your bike. You're gonna go past Manly, past Wynnum, and there's a big marina right here. And we head on all along this foreshore area. Uh, really, really cool. Just back here, there is Pandanus Beach. Yes, there are pandanus trees there and a really cool big long jetty at Wynnum. I'll show you that up close and personal. Then we keep on tracking it up here. We go around over another bridge and we come to what's called the Wynnum Mangrove Boardwalk. Really nice bushy area, dog parks and all that good stuff there. Really, really nice to go and explore. Now we actually head up out onto the main road. We cross over a train line and then we come to the very industrial area of Lytton. Then we go to the sleepy town of Hammond. By the way, if you haven't checked out the video, I found a couple of uh, uh, hidden World War II bunkers and gun stations in Hammond. Have a look on my Off Track Explorer channel for that one. This section is pretty boring. It's very industrial, but at the end of the day, it brings us to where we want to finish, and that is to the Queensport Rocks Park. Now let me just uh, change this view around. These are the gateway bridges. Used to be one, now there's two. And where I finish my ride today is underneath the bridge there. Let's see if I can get on under. Here we go. That's gonna be the end of our journey today. So really, really cool, fun, 44 kilometers. All right, enough chicka chatter. let's get into it. All right, time 6.48 right now. This is Australia day, by the way. Here we go.
Yeah, so I think my first main stop is going to be at Wellington Point. And then after that, I think we're gonna come up to Lota, Wynnum, and not far after that will be the Gateway Bridge. Coming from Cleveland, you come past Raby Bay. Here's a bit of a shopping centre. Now we've got the Cleveland train station just up here. There's a pretty nice uh, footpath slash bikeway right beside the train line here. It's a lot safer than on the road. I'll check it out. It's a fruit shop called The Big Mushroom. I can't see any big mushroom structure. This is Ormiston, that's the Ormiston State School. There's a sign just here, Wellington Point, so we'll keep on heading past Ormiston Shopping Village. Head up on the main roads, that'll take us to uh, Wellington Point. Now I'm feeling a little bit out of whack this morning. I've forgotten my chest mount for my GoPro, so I'm kind of just using this tripod. I forgot my jet boil, so I can't make my coffee when I get to my destination. It's falling apart at the seams, mate. Anyway, check this out. It's like this underpass, is it? Yes, it is, I think. Oh, this is nice. Oh, this is very nice. That is beautiful. Yeah, there's a really cool parkland. There's a pump track here, just at Ormiston. Now we're gonna go this back way um, to come out to the main road that goes to Wellington. One thing I have to stress is there's no more MBC signs that I can see. So I'm pretty much just you know, following, I guess, the contour of the, uh, where the bay is, and I'm heading in that direction. Oh, hang on, this is cool. Yeah. Got to have a little bit of fun. Yeah, I've had to end up taking a bit of a backward way to get back to the main roads, kind of came to a dead end. This is the beauty of the mountain bike. You can go wherever you please. All right, we've hit main road. This is a road that'll take us to Wellington Point. So, finally back on the main drag, which is great. There's actually a lot of cyclists around today, being a public holiday and all. This is kind of the shopping district. It's only 7.20 in the morning. So quiet. This will be pumping. Give it another one or two more hours. Everyone will be out here. You see everyone's hitting the cafes there. There was a track here once, it says track closed. Huh. Let's see if there's any path down the backside of Wellington rather than down the main road. And this is the point of Wellington where everyone comes to, the tourist hub. A great place to come out for a visit. Wellington Point Recreation Reserve.
Now over there in the distance, there's King Island. And when it's low tide, you can get people walking across just a little sandbar. Low tide, you can make it all the way across. I should do a video there one day. Just what King Island's like. Now there's no camping there or anything, and nor would you want to. It's all filled with midges and mozzies. But this is a really nice little point. See the cyclists coming past. We're going to work our way all the way around the bay there. And that's Lota, uh, Manly, we've got Wynnum. we got the Gateway Bridge. Uh, geez, I can't see it from here. It's behind King Island there somewhere. And the Port of Brisbane. So we're going to make our way all the way around that bay. Come to the Gateway and that'll be us. Everyone's getting their gazebos or their picnic tables all reserved for today's festivities. So it's 7.33 at the moment, the distance to here from where I started, uh, 11 and a half kilometers. Anyways, Wellington Point, it's a great place. There's a um, little cafe just up here, you can buy your fish and chips. All right. Let's get going. To get out of here, we have to go the way we came. Finally, the first sign I've seen on this particular trip, Moreton Bay Cycleway. There's the sign. Check it out, there's a little boardwalk here. So cute. It's so teeny. Come out to Three Paddocks Park, okay. Finally come out to some nice water views on the trail. Look at this thing. What the heck? All right, here we're coming to another pathway. Now they call this the Queensland Esplanade Cycleway. So this should bring me on around to Lota and along the whole Winner Manly Esplanade. black swans out there on the water. Now I'm approaching a boardwalk that goes over a canal at Lota and it's pretty cool actually. I've only ever done it once before, but it'll soon be coming up. It goes a fair distance and it's a great bit of infrastructure just to get over that whole creek line. This is called Queen's Esplanade. I'm on the main road now called Rickett Road. And here we've got another NBC sign. Okay, this is a suburb called Ransom. Chelsea Road. Let's get on down to the end. This is the Lota bikeway. It's great going through the wetlands here. If 
talk about rickety. She needs a few more screws, I think, to hold the boards down. It's quite narrow here, so you just got to be careful if there's two cyclists trying to cross each other's paths, that's all. Lotta Station. Here we are down at the Esplanade. Oh, it's gorgeous. The air is so fresh as well. It's just the Queensland Yacht Squadron. I used to take my kids here to do tackers. That's those little, little baby yachts. I love ringing that bell. Now just coming up to Manly uh, head point here and just want to show you a really nice place. It's always full but it's a great place for a little cup of coffee or a cup of tea. Got the Coast Guard just here and you got the cops here getting their donuts. That's right, I sag it. Cops and donuts. It's a cool little spot. It's time to spit. I can feel it spitting a bit now. got some Australia Day markets it looks like. And this is Wynnum. There's a pretty cool jetty up there we'll go and have a quick look there. This is really nice just to come for a walk here if you're ever out at Wynnum way. Do some fishing, do some thinking, do some riding. We're now coming to a place called the Tom Burns Park. It's at the back of the Wynnum foreshore. And uh, yeah, nice big sporting field. It goes into a parkland just behind. Once again, I just love that bell. There's a massive dog park here, it's huge. The NBC still continues this way. 
we have an emergency sign. <laughs> uh, okay, haven't seen one of those yet. All right, this is Tingle Road. I feel like a tingle. And here we go, Lytton, yeah. Whew. So Lytton means we're getting close to the Gateway Bridge, which is probably still five or 10 Ks on. I've ridden 35 kilometers and the time is 9.06. All right, let's get this finished. And just for reference, this is the Morton Bay Cycleway. Starts down at Point Talburpin. That's where we began. And we rode all the way past Vicky Point and up to Cleveland. Today's journey was Cleveland, past Wellington Point, past Manly, Wynnum, and then we're gonna go all the way to Gateway Bridge. The next part of the adventure will be from Gateway Bridge, past Nudgee Beach, Sean Cliff, and basically somewhere around Sandgate, or if you got the energy to Redcliffe. And then the next one will be from Redcliffe up to Deception Bay. And then finally, it'll be from Deception Bay down to Bribe. I don't know if I'll make it. <laughs> but that's 150 kilometers of pure NBC goodness right there. There's actually a railway crossing just over here. And that's how it's done. Hey, by the way, there's a BP over here and there's a massive Amazon factory just beside it there to my left. If you have a look, we're coming up to a fair sized bridge. That's a bit of an uphill climb. Anyways, let's keep going, shall we? Can't stand on top of bridges looking down all day long. This is Lytton Road. This should take us uh, to the Gateway Bridge. What the heck? Pin-up girls? What, here? What is this? I think this is called the Queen's Port Tavern. All right, I can see the Gateway Bridge right in front of me. Woohoo! This is a small town called Hammond. This is the industrial area. Normally crazy busy, but on a public holiday, it's DED, dead. And just over here to my right, you can see the very impressive gateway bridges. And there's a train line here. So what? Actually, this doesn't even look used, this train line. This must be an old abandoned line. I'm gonna go have to explore that. All right, how do we get onto the gateway? This is it. Well, here it is, folks. This is the way up to the gateway. Uh, summit point, if you can call it that. It's like a mountain. It's a pretty big mountain of a bridge. Let's uh, head off to underneath the bridge and we'll have a, I don't know, a breakfast, lunch break, and that'll be our end point. So as you can see, you know, they keep on going straight up. We're gonna go off to the Queensport Rocks Park. This is it.
and this will be our picnic point. So this is Queen's Port Rocks, it's an amazing place to stop just to have a picnic. There's a car park right up there and walkways that go all the way down to here and you get the stunning view of the two bridges. 43.44 kilometres, 2 hours and 20 minutes to get here all the way from Cleveland. I'm hoping it'll just take me one and a half hours to get back. I'll just follow the main roads, I think. I've got a friend here. He's waiting for a feed. So yeah, hope you enjoyed the ride and are enjoying this series of the MBC, the Morton Bay Cycleway. Gives you an idea just uh, what we have here in Southeast Queensland following the Eastern coastline. Um, some parts are really nice. Some parts are really boring because you're just following road, but at the end of the day, it's all beautiful, isn't it? Especially when you get to end the ride like this. <sighs> yeah, I love it. Thank you very much for watching the video. I will catch you on the next one. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up too. I'd appreciate that. I got no hot water. I forgot my jet boil at home. What's the use of this? <laughs>